Hey everybody, I'm Carl, and today we're here in my amateur radio station, and we're going to talk a little bit about Morse code. Uh, my amateur radio call sign is W8WZ, or in Morse code. And Morse code is a form of radio communication that actually predates radio. Morse code was originally used over 100 years ago on landline telegraphy circuits. And when radio was invented, uh, we began using radio telegraphy, which is a mode of communication that's still used today. It's actually very simple to produce. In order to actually make the radio transmission in Morse code, all we need is a special switch that turns on and off a radio transmitter. And we call that switch a key or a Morse code key. And we use that key to turn on and off the radio so that the radio transmission makes a series of sounds in pattern. And I'll show you that right now. In Morse code, each particular letter and number is assigned a unique sound. And those sounds are represented on this particular uh, graph there. So you'll see, if I can do that, that the letter A is represented by a unique sound. That's A. The letter B is represented by a unique sound. One long and three shorts. Letter C is represented by one long, one short, one long, one short. And so when a radio operator hears these sounds over his receiver, instead of hearing just the noise of, he actually in his mind hears the letter A and can write that down. And uh, communication can be established between two different people by using this code. Uh, so the letters in the alphabet in Morse code are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. Z. And uh, with, that, with that series of sounds, we, uh, we communicate. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, back in the old days, it was the only way to communicate on radio. And then voice got invented. And uh, now we have voice and other digital modes uh, and still Morse code. And just like people enjoy sailing ships, even though motorboats have been invented for a long time, or people enjoy shooting bow and arrow, even though uh, firearms have been invented for a long time, or fly fishing, even though you could, uh, you could fish with, uh, with more advanced tackle. Uh, there are still a lot of us that just enjoy the simplicity and art of sending Morse code. Personally, I find it a very relaxing experience. Uh, I have friends who paint pictures and friends who play musical instruments, and they tell me that they get a sense of mental relaxation when they play their instrument or paint their picture because they're able to mentally focus on, on what they're creating or what they're doing through their art. I get a similar feeling to that when I'm communicating with Morse code. Uh, my mind kind of stops thinking about work. It kind of stops thinking about the to-do list or the chores that I've got coming up or worrying about things or thinking about or planning. And I just focus completely on the sounds that I'm hearing and translating those into meaningful messages with friends who I enjoy communicating with all over the world. And then I work very hard with my own dexterity to be able to send the code properly so that they can get the message I'm trying to send. And I, I kind of focus so much on that process and it uses a part of my brain that I think is similar to the part of our brain that gets used when we might play an instrument or produce art that I find it very mentally refreshing and enjoyable. And so that's why I'm a Morse code operator and that's my favorite thing to do in this great hobby of ham radio. So thanks for watching this video and I hope you found it helpful. Have a great day.